Hey, what's up guys? Iman here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And today, I just got the Tesla wall charger installed. Finally, after what, I think six weeks of waiting and trying to get permits in the city, I was able to finally get this installed. The electricians just left. It's still very messy here, but I wanted to show you guys how this is set up. So first, let's take a look at how the wires are running from the inside or the outside of the garage to the panel here, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like downstairs, and then we'll hook, it, hook up Monster and see what kind of um, charge speeds we're actually getting. If you are new to the channel, you might not know this, but of course, go ahead and subscribe. But uh, I was originally running off a normal charger that comes with it, which I had plugged up here, and this was running to the car, uh, which is a standard charger that comes with the car. So now I'm happy to finally get the wall charger installed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup as well as the charge speed once we hook up Monster to the new wall charger. All right guys, here's kind of what the setup looks like. This is the power cables. <laughs> Coming out from the basement, uh, they were able to directionally run uh, the wires to the basement instead of going on the other side of the wall. And I'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute here. It basically runs up here through the top, going all the way across. And here is where the wall connector is, right over here. Now, the reason why I got it put here was because I wanted to be able to access the charge port of course to my car, which is on the other side. Um, and it's normally parked here, but in case I wanted to park my car here as well, or another car here, this obviously stuff is moved out because they were working on it, I gotta put that back. Uh, I would be able to access the car here as well as access the car here. So it really gives me the option to be able to park in any of three of these spots and still be able to fully charge. So that is what this setup currently looks like. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a look by plugging monster in and see what kind of charge speeds we're, we're getting. So I'll just take it off the hook here. Uh, I assume one loop should be enough, but let's take a look and see, that might not be. Yep, one loop is enough. Open the charge port, plug it in. Just heard the click, it is charging. And let's take a look at the charger real quick because I'm gonna look at the light and see if it is, yep, it is charging. So let's take a look at what kind of speeds we're getting. All right. Right now the battery is at 79%. I have it maxed out at 90%. So right now it looks like charge time will be 55%. This is still ramping up. So you can see I got 48 amps, 230 volt, and 11 kilowatt charge speed. So it looks like it'll be able to hit 90% from 79 in 55 minutes. Now, as far as the ampage goes, my circuit breaker uh, is pretty much maxed out to 200 amps. And uh, the electrician was telling me that uh, in order for me to get any more, I would have to upgrade that, which will cost anywhere between eight to ten thousand dollars to go to a 400 amp. So instead of going the full 60 amp, they were able to put in a 40 amp breaker. Um, that way, I won't have to upgrade, and I can still pass the city inspection and things like that. So right now, the way they explained it to me, and please correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments, but they said it is currently converting from. AC to DC, that's why we're seeing 48 amps, but the breaker downstairs is actually a 40 amp breaker, which is gonna be able to pull 32 amps to charge it. So it's not running at full capacity at 60, which for me, it's still gonna be more than enough just because my daily commute is anywhere between 30 to 60 miles total. So I'm not gonna be depleting the battery too much and I'll be able to get a full charge in a couple hours and still be able to do what I need to do. So. If I wanna go up to the 60 amp, again, I would have to upgrade my breaker to a 400 amp, and uh, I just don't wanna spend the eight to $10,000 uh, upgrading to a 400 amp breaker uh, instead of the 200 that I have right now. So um, I'll be running at, uh, again, 32 amps, and uh, that's what the 
is currently set as. So it looks like now 50 minutes remaining, and I think this is at running at full capacity now. So 48 amps, 230 volts, uh, 11 kilowatts, and again, 79% currently. So super excited to try this out. Um, the lowest I've, I've gotten on the battery, I believe, was about 52% or 50 something percent. Um, so again, I don't really use it a whole lot. Um, but uh, I should be able to get full charge uh, definitely in a few hours. So this is a huge upgrade from the original chargers that I, that I was running, which actually I can show you guys on the charge speed that I was getting on that, which is very minimal. But again, even that for someone who is a you know daily work commuter, uh, you can still get away with uh, the normal wall connector, which by the way, if you have not checked out my previous video, you guys can go check that out and kind of talk a little bit more detail about that. So. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let me go show you the, the breaker as well as tell you how to connect this to your Wi-Fi. All right, so if you have the Gen 3 wall charger, this is capable of connecting to Wi-Fi. And in your quick startup guide, it has a sticker on here that tells you your address. You can go ahead and scan that as well as to the side of the box, it'll tell you your address that you need to connect to. now. The instructions themselves are actually not very clear and I'll show you guys what that looks like. It basically tells you uh, that once you power on step seven, step eight is for you to scan that barcode or QR code, I'm sorry, and then you'll be able to uh, connect to uh, Wi-Fi, which in my case, it didn't work. So I was like kind of panicking as to why this is not working. I thought maybe something's wrong with the wall connector. Turns out that uh, you have a limited amount of time to connect to your Wi-Fi. So once my electrician left, I started trying to connect to Wi-Fi, which by that time it was kind of already out of the quote unquote find me phase. So basically what I did was I went back to my panel, uh, opened it up, took the, the plug out, uh, basically that shut the unit off and then I was able to uh, reset it. And then once it wakes up, you have that initial, I don't know how much time you have, but uh, I would say probably 30 seconds to a minute to go into your Wi-Fi settings and then find that uh, oops find the Tesla um, address which is uh, Tesla wall connector underscore whatever eight four four five seven three and so once I was able to find it then I was able to connect using my password and then basically configure it to the right ampage as well as more importantly connect it to my Wi-Fi uh, that allows it to get over the air updates uh, and things like that. So you want to make sure that you connect your wall connector to your local Wi-Fi. That way you can go ahead and get the, the local, uh, not the local, but you can go ahead and get the firmware updates and uh, things like that directly to the wall connector. So if you're having difficulty, leave me a comment below. Let me know. I'm happy to help you because I was kind of panicking why it wasn't working for me, but I was able to connect to it and then uh, configure it in the matter of like a couple minutes. So um, yeah, so that's how you connect your wall connector to your local Wi-Fi connection. Now let's go ahead and go downstairs, take a look at the breaker box, and uh, we'll kind of end it there. All right, guys, here's my fuse box. And basically, I've got two, the main one and a sub panel. So what they did was they had to make some room here. So they moved um, two of the fuses into this box and installed the Tesla uh, fuse right here. So. This is how my box is set up. And then let me close this, show you guys where it's running. Basically, it's going to the left there across the ceiling here. And to the side, and they have it going out right there. And that is what is feeding. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below, right below the thumbs up button, subscribe button. Make sure you hit both of those as well. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.